fans of the 1970s Atari video game computer system, or that is Atari VCS, later renamed the Atari 2600, have helped raise more than $2 million US dollars to fund the creation of a modern version of the console. And for the new console, not only will it play games, but have features like web browsing, video streaming, and voice control, along with the system promising 100 classic Atari games right out of the box. Yet the technical specifications listed on the system's crowdfunding page indicate the machine is going to be significantly less powerful than the current consoles on offer from Microsoft and Sony. Welcome back to Catnip and today we present you the Atari VCS 2018 edition. So come on, let's learn together. The new system is less of a game console and more of a mini gaming PC. So with a price tag similar to the current entry level Xbox, it raises the question of what the big attraction is. Some will be drawn to the potential for customization that the Linux operating system offers which is to run on the machine. Others will be attracted by the power of nostalgia, the force that will attract them to get back the memories related to the old games. But is this enough to make a system like this a success in today's market? Well, to gain an insight into why the Atari VCS may have generated so much interest, we should first look back at the history of Atari and gaming itself. The Atari brand has been owned by a number of different companies following the original firm's collapse in 1984 and has an unconventional history altogether. In a 2003 documentary, former staff members discussed regular marijuana use and parties at the Atari offices in early 1980s. These were some of the earliest years of home video games in an immature industry where games were produced by an individual developer with no fixed working hours and where the main measure of accountability was that they delivered a game on time as well as creating some of the gaming's most memorable titles such as Pong, Millipede and Missile Command, Atari is also known for creating what is widely regarded as one of the worst games in video game history, that is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Despite its failure at that time, the game has now gained cult status. Judging by the comments left by fans on the crowdfunding page, players want to experience this game just as much as some of the other classics. This colorful history contributes to the interest surrounding the Atari brand. The firm has another great advantage when it comes to tapping into the nostalgia of the past, that is creative control over its titles and franchises. Gaming and gamers have changed since these early years. Back then, many of the games available on home consoles were adaptations of the coin-operated arcade titles and others were based on similar gameplay. These machines were ultimately designed to be both easy to play and difficult to master, taking your money but leaving you wanting to play again and again and again. The decline of amusement arcades has seen a switch from a play-to-lose focus in game design to a more inclusive play-to-win style of gameplay. Players with various levels of ability are now supported by hints and other options to save their game at any point, making a full game experience accessible to a larger number of players. The effect of this change is significant. Players are able to take more risks and experiment with fresh playstyles further into a game without experiencing the frustration induced by having to start from the very beginning after an extended play session. As because Atari owns the rights to its games, it can refresh the still-loved classics to reflect the new way we play games. This is Atari's greatest strength and the firm appears to have recognized it. The promised integration of its system with the social media reminds of the success of Flappy Bird on the iPhone. Atari is uniquely placed to be able to bring its titles into the modern era with internet connectivity, something that video game emulation that are use of simulation software to play older games on newer systems don't actually provide. Online high score tables will allow older players to see how they measure up against new generation of gamers, and young gamers will have the opportunity to see how they compare with others on some of the game's earliest classics. For the features supporting modern gaming such as live streaming will only add to the potential of this machine. It is this appeal of an authentic but fresh perspective on some of the gaming's classics that is driving interest in Atari's new gaming system. The opportunity to experience the legacy left behind by Atari in new ways is compelling for many gamers. Atari has already confirmed its intention to reimagine games from its back catalogue and has indicated on its crowdfunding page that some of these will involve online multiplayer as well. But as the first consoles won't be released until the start of next year, Year, we will have to wait and see if this is enough to take Atari onto the next level, otherwise it could be game over once again.
So that's it for this video and we hope you liked it. A million thanks to our dear subscriber family for your continuous love and support and until next time stay tuned for more.